the new 5 step revenue recognition system under IFRS 15 and INDES 115 has changed the revenue model for a lot of industries out of the 5 steps the second step of identifying the separate performance obligations in the contract is one of the most critical ones in one of his comprehensive IFRS training session IFRS and INDES industry expert Mr Ramanujam Narayan deconstructs how an entity must identify the number of performance obligations as per IFRS 15 with the help of an interesting case study let's find out how so when i talk about performance obligations whenever there are multiple performance obligations when can you say when can you say that the goods or services are distinct from each other that means there are multiple performance obligations when can you say that in the host while in the host while is 17 the criteria was when the goods or services are sold separately in the market when the goods or services are sold separately in the market to the customers as independent deliverable and the fair values of those goods or services are known reliably and the fair values of those goods or services are known reliably now ifrs 15 advocates the principle of customer first we are finance first and i first of it talks about customer first means look at it always from a customer perspective is the customer getting the value okay from the goods or services independently that is it is capable of being distinct customer can benefit as is okay or it is separately identifiable from other contract promises or other performance obligations okay it is basically independent of each other and whether it is being delivered as a part of the combined services in which case it can be only one performance obligation or the goods or services are having individual values to the customers but the fair value criteria does not exist anymore in ifrs 15 even if you don't have the fair value of that goods or services still it can be an independent variable and independent performance obligation is it making sense to you all is it make to uh, making sense to all of you let's do quite a few simulations manufacturers red limited okay and customer sundial contract to sell customer tool a replacement part no other entity sells either of the above product individually or together sundial can also use the tool without replacement the part however cannot use replacement part without the tool so how many performance obligations are there in the above contract we are still in the impact assessment phase so it is two if basically the customer to list sold first part and customer to becomes two independent variable but if the replacement part is delivered first then it has to be only one because replacement part cannot work without custom to that was mr ramanujam narayan simplifying a complicated ifrs concept for you to understand the business implications of ifrs and indies in such a holistic manner with the help of real world case studies log into our website in the description below And for more such interesting content subscribe to this channel now